out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming! You don't really want war. All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. Fate only binds you if you let it. We will make our own destiny. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the god of war. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. So as Kratos gets more powerful, he's going to have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited for players to try the Blade Grapple traversal moves. That brings so much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos' combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to his shield loadout. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. You're going to be able to choose, you know, which weapon you want to have when you kill a guy. Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now. And he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Not only that they fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments, for example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces. You definitely will see a lot more collaborations between father and son. There is so much that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. For the old father! We'll make our own destiny.